Dragon Age, the Veil Guard progression systems get fully detailed by BioWare. As part of the launch preparations, BioWare has shared a new blog post and video dedicated to the progression systems within Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. The info dump begins with confirming the level cap, which the developers have set at 50. While experience points can be obtained by killing enemies and exploring the world, players will find it far easier to level up by completing quests, especially the bigger ones. With each level, players will be granted a skill point to spend in the so-called constellation tree. There are many options to choose from, as detailed below large circle, class, core skills and weapon proficiencies. Diamond, ability, can be assigned to an ability slot. Medium circle, major passive or ability upgrade, adds effects or modifies existing abilities or stats, like guaranteeing a critical hit on knockdown or extending range. Small hexagon, straight, modifies existing class skill, like counterattack, extending an attack combo or missile block, return. Small circle, minor passive or stat boost, increases the efficacy of abilities, passive, or stats. Very importantly, skill points can be refunded for the entire skill tree or individually at any time and for free, allowing Dragon Age, the Veil Guard players a high degree of experimentation throughout their entire playthroughs. As you would expect, given the type of game, there will be a variety of equipment to loot or purchase, including weapons, armor, and accessories. Each item will have its own unique stats and attributes. As weapons and armor evolve, Duplicate items will allow you to increase stats and unlock additional features. Players can further upgrade and enchant the items through the Caretaker's Workshop in the Lighthouse Hub. There will be a list of basic enchantments at first, but each time Rook upgrades the rank of the Caretaker's Workshop, more enchantments will become available. Each item or ability can have a single enchantment applied to it, and each enchantment can only be applied to a single item or ability at a time. Upon creating the Rook character, players will align with a faction. The chosen faction will affect the initial appearance of the Rook, especially when dressed in casual clothing. However, all visible armor can be transmogrified into anything else that has been collected via the wardrobe in the lighthouse. Last but not least, Dragon Age, the Veil Guard also allows the progression of Rook's companions, who are getting two skill points for each level. Ways to get experience for your companions include completing their personal quests as well as dialogues and decisions made with them. Players may take two companions on missions. Each companion has its own gear to manage, which can also be upgraded and enchanted in the aforementioned caretaker's workshop. Companions also have primers and detonators, which can be combined with each other or with the rook in combat. Each primer has a matching detonator. When the correct combination is used, a detonation is triggered, dealing increased damage over an area and increasing the stagger. For example, as seen in the video, Rook can use Toxic Dash to detonate the Sundered target, and Neve can detonate it with her Icebreaker ability. Dragon Age, the Veil Guard will be released on October 31st for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series S Vertical Bar X.